Hi, welcome to Ask for Life Now. My name is Jessica. Glad you've joined me today. I'm getting ready for work and I have to leave in about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm doing my makeup as I do this video through my webcam. So um, anyway, but I still have some things to share with you. So I'm going to read some scripture from Philippians and just tell you what I was thinking about today. So I'm going to first read Philippians 4.13. Um, if you don't have a Bible, you can go to BibleGateway.com, and it's a great resource, and you can look up scriptures, and you can follow along if you'd like. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. I've heard this scripture several times. A lot of people in the religious community have heard this a lot. So we always, kind of a cliche scripture, a lot of people use, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But um, I wanted to read what came before that because I think it's important to look at things in context. So I'm going to read um, Philippians 4, uh, 11, I guess I'll start at 11. And this is um, Paul speaking to um, the Philippian church, so that's his audience. Um, he was, I believe he was in prison at the time that he wrote this. You may be mistaken, so don't quote me on that. But <clears throat> either way, you get the idea that he was under some hard circumstances at the time he wrote this. So um, it says, I am, well, I'll start with 10. It says, I rejoice greatly in the Lord that at last you have renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you have been concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I'm not saying this because I am in need. This is what I want you to focus on. For I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. That right there is the context that we want to look at that that, that final scripture because what he's talking about in essence, the connotations, the connotation he wants to use for that scripture is that it doesn't matter what the circumstance is, I'm going to be okay because God is my provider and he is my rock. He is the one that, that satisfies me, not the things of the world. It's not the, like, and that's a cliche as well, things of the world. But in other words, not the things here on earth that we depend on, that our body needs food, our body needs you know, water. There's, you know, you have to have a job to make it in life. You have to you know, go to school to get a job, you have to um, just do certain things, you have to pay bills, whatever, but those are not the things that we depend on, um, it's God, and if you can learn to be content in every circumstance, that's what he was talking about, is he says, I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, so what I want to encourage you today is just to lean on God, no matter what circumstance you're going through. Um, I guess I'm going to put on my makeup because I need to go to work. But anyway, I was just thinking about that because I think too many times we try to make things too much on our own. We try to think, well, we have to have this or, you know, we have to do this or that. And in my personal life, it would be, well, I'm going to school so I have to have this specific job and because of the lifestyle my parents have provided for me up to this point I feel like I have to do enough to keep up that standard of like you know maybe it, for me it's going you know getting my nails done you know that silly stuff but that's life and you know, whether or not, and this is just a small thing, it's not a big deal, but whether or not I get to get my nails done <laughs> um, is irrelevant. You know, it's it's being happy in all circumstances. You know, if I were to be kicked out on the street tomorrow, you know, and, and lost my job and, you know, lost every penny to my name, I would still praise God because it's not for the circumstance but it's in every circumstance. And, um, you know, that's that's a place you have to come to in your life because if you don't, you'll never truly be happy. 
there's always, and hear me on this, there will always be an obstacle in your way. Always. And don't, don't get me wrong, God is not the one that brings those things. You know, if you think that, you know, God is bringing trouble on you, you need to check your sources. Because there's never anything in the Bible that says that God is the one that brings trouble on you. It's the enemy that does that. But at the same time, you will never fully escape from that because we live in an imperfect world. Um, we live in a world that is corrupted by sin. So there's consequences from that. And, you know, there's pain and suffering in the world. Um... But at the same time, if you can learn to praise God and be content in all circumstances, I'm telling you what, you will live an abundant life. You will never have a hurt or a pain. And what's the secret to that? Leaning on God is that secret. You know, there's times like I could really just let crap get me down. But then I say, you know what? I refuse to let things get in my way. And when you say those things and you just say a prayer, God, you know, I don't know how to make it through this. You just got to help me make it through. Show me what it is that's going to help me get to the next level. And, um, you know, or get through this day, you know. And God will supply your needs. Take him at his word. You know, he says these things about himself in the Bible. He's a provider. And, you know, that he doesn't lie. Well, take him at his word for it. That may seem a little weird to some of you, but take him at his word for it. And, and he'll answer you. He'll meet you. Because he's the true God. Um, I guess I'm going to pray right now. This may seem a little unorthodox, but I'm going to pray with my eyes open. So, um, this isn't disrespectful or anything. But, at the same time, I don't feel like I have to be religious about anything. So, Jesus, I thank you so much that you are good to me and that you and I have formed a relationship God I know I'm not perfect but I know I have a lot to work on but I thank you that you accept me for who I am and where I'm at and God I thank you that you don't hold me under condemnation and Lord I just pray that um, for the viewers every viewer out there God that they would find what they need today and God, I say that very strongly because I don't want to just babble words and act like, you know, that makes some kind of good prayer. But God, whatever the viewer that's watching right now needs, God, I pray that you meet that need right now. In fact, if you're watching right now, if there's something that's, that's in your life right now that, that you know is out of your control, I would just encourage you. In fact, I'm telling you to take that say it out loud right now say it to God say God this is my problem or this is my circumstance and say God I understand that I can't control it but you can now ask him to fix the problem to show you an answer it may not fall out of the sky you may have to work for it but God will show you what that is God is the miraculous God he can fix things like that but he can also take you through a process. And I believe that God has the answer for your problem. So in the name of Jesus, we pray that for whatever problem that the viewer is going through right now, I ask that it is done in your name, Jesus. And Lord, we trust you and thank you that, that you said that whatever we should ask in your name, it will be done. And Lord, we see it is done and we apply our faith. Thank you for that, God. Lord, I also ask that... Um, that you just be with us through the day. Help us to realize that everything is possible and help us to be thankful for every circumstance. And it's all in your name we pray. We give you glory, Lord. Amen. Thank you for viewing. I'm so glad that you joined me today. I guess I'm going to finish get re getting ready for work and maybe I'll be a little more prepared tomorrow. But either way, subscribe if you like what you see. I'll be doing this for the next... Uh, another week or so and I think I'll continue it after that if it goes well so I'm so glad that you came today I believe that the Spirit of God has led you here and it's not a coincidence God bless you and come join me tomorrow